Hello, uh, we are here today uh, in our new series, Bring Your Game On, uh, with uh, Robert Jan from Escape Tours, and he's going to present a game which they have uh, built and run and um, answers all sorts of interesting details about uh, the game. So, um, the floor is yours. Can you tell a bit about your company and uh, today's game? Yeah, I will uh, introduce a little bit of our company and how it's evolved over time. And then I will do a short presentation of the actual game. Um, the game we're going to talk about is one of the things we do that have developed into it kind of its own company now because of the, um, uh, the mass amount of things we do for it and uh, the amount of um, um, people that actually book it. Um, we already did this before COVID hit the world. Um, up until then, we were busy doing a lot of real life events, uh, which were also for the, I think the last five, six, seven years, um, done with Loquis. And uh, we had this game that we're gonna talk about today, the Escape Tour on a side project. And once COVID hit the world, uh, we already had quite some cities where we uh, where we had the games, but then we had all the time and the energy to uh, to expand that, and that turns uh, had, have turned into what we have today, and that's exactly what I'm gonna gonna show you now. So I'll walk you through a presentation, and I will show you. This one, here it comes. Yeah, you can see it, I uh, assume, yeah. Um, it's called Escape Tours, uh, and like this first sheet says, it's uh, played all around the world, literally. Uh, we started off in uh, the Netherlands, where we are based, soon got into uh, Europe, and we're making games all around the world right now. I will explain a little bit how we do that in a second, but um, uh, it's worldwide. Um, first off, what is an escape tour? It's basically a city game where you try to find the secret exit of the city. Um, and the goal that people have is to do it within two hours. They can play longer because some teams uh, actually want to pause and sit down for a second or a half an hour. Um, but the goal is it's playable within two hours uh, with a little team, two to five people. And it says here a smartphone or tablet, but if people start using Locust, they know preferably a tablet. I don't know the numbers right now, but I think that like 98% of the games are played with a, a smartphone, not a tablet, a smartphone. Uh, so the same goes for this one. It's played on a smartphone, like pretty much all uh, Locust games, of course. Um, how do we do this? I will come back to the, the numbers of how we are doing right now, but um, uh, how do we actually create a game? We prepare the visit before we go. That has evolved. When we start doing it, um, we like spend the whole entire day at a city trying to make the game. Nowadays, we prepare the visit so that we can make it in um, like two to three hours actually being in the city. Uh, and after that, we make the game, we finalize the game in Locus, of course. Um, we do a little bit of testing right now, uh, not as much as we did before, because the, the whole concept, um, as, and as you will see, we have made 100 plus cities as we speak, so the whole testing isn't that really important anymore. We quite know very good what we're doing. Um, so that's the uh, the basic, uh, it, it doesn't really look like this on your smartphone, but this is um, uh, a development picture, so you can show, uh, or you can see the entire game. This actually uh, is Amsterdam, um, and the whole idea is, as you can see on the left, um, that there are levels that you go through. Uh, the game itself isn't really hard, it's also not very easy, it's meant for like we say, average people. No one is really average, but uh, we hit for the mass 
uh, and um, it has to be fun. It has to have a lot of um, good moments in it where people actually achieve something instead of uh, getting uh, blocked by whatever and uh, and has have to stop the game. Um, this is one part that makes it interesting for us. So um, Locus is obviously used to play the game, but the whole idea is that people can book it and the whole uh, process is automated. Um, that's what we do next. And um, this is how it works uh, when you actually book it. You choose your city, you, you book it online. So it's uh, either on our uh, Dutch website or the international website. Um, you get everything by email, all the information you need, and you can play the game whenever you want. So every game is actually made so that it is possible to play 24-7, so also in the middle of the night. Um, luckily, uh, some last um, additions to the Locus app have made it possible to actually uh, use some locations in the game that are only open for visiting between, let's say, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And uh, we can work around that. In the uh, old days, that wasn't possible yet, so we had to do some other things. But uh, nowadays, it's get it's getting easier and easier to, um, to include locations in the game that aren't open, like in the middle of the night. Um, so it's a completely automated process. Uh, next one, these are the numbers right now. Um, we have about 130 plus cities made already. And what you, it's not like every game is the same. That's important. Every game we make, every city is unique. Um, most of the cities, especially in Europe, we visit ourselves. And outside Europe, we have other people helping us. So uh, every game is unique. It has a unique storyline and it is also has unique um, tasks that uh, can only be played at the location because it has to do with the location. And right now uh, we've sold more than 50,000 tickets and um, uh, uh, close to 170,000 people played. That's uh, where we are right now. And I think this year, it uh, last month in March, it, um, uh, the numbers compared to last year was four times as much. So I, uh, I expect these numbers to go up really fast in the coming months. I think we're going to uh, go for uh, 100,000 at least played this year. These numbers are from uh, the past years, but uh, going quite well, uh, which makes uh, the goal, I think next year we will have at least 200 cities. And I think that at least half a million people have uh, teams have played uh, the game. That's uh, at the end of next year, and I think that's uh, very reasonable. Um, do I have another one? No, that was the last one. Um, ah, there we are again. So that's in short the game. Uh, the game itself isn't really complicated. Um, if you compare it, for example, with uh, the Easter game that Locus has launched uh, last week, um, technically the Easter game is uh, more complicated on the back end than uh, the Escape Tour is because um, um, uh, there's a lot we can use for the Escape Tours, technically spoken, but it's not uh, really necessary up until now to uh, use all the nifty bits of. Uh, of locus. Um, so that's basically uh, uh, this game. It's it's not really a complicated game, but it's a, it's really a fun game, and it's uh, aimed towards not necessarily uh, business to business, more B two C. But uh, um, as I said to you uh, before, uh, for example, today we have about a hundred teams playing, and uh, like. 70 to 80 percent is uh, uh, our business customers that uh, have booked the game that's, uh, themselves for multiple teams. Thank you for the presentation. Uh, I would like to ask a few extra questions. If sure, go ahead. Uh, do you remember a specific event 
uh, for a specific brand you made and you kind of feel it was really cool and you got a lot of uh, like interesting feedback from the participants? Uh, yeah, multiple, of course. Um, uh, for example, well, I can give you an example of today. Actually, um, we have, by coincidence, it is the school of my son uh, that has booked without me knowing it uh, until they uh, put up the schedule. But um, uh, it's an example of a school in this case, but this also goes for companies that book like 23 tickets at once um, and start playing. So it's, um, um, we see a lot of companies booking this game um, with multiple tickets at once. And uh, it, it differs from time to time. In the early days, uh, like, how long are we doing this? Like four years, five years, this game? Um, it was a bit more tricky, of course. Um, but we had uh, a lot of companies uh, doing this. So it's um, um, it, because it's fully automated, we don't always uh, have a direct conversation with the client about these games. But, uh, uh, afterwards, we see a lot of fun stuff uh, going on. Okay. Do you have a personal favorite task or a character in the game or part of the game you, you would like to talk about? Um, uh, it, in this case, every city has its own unique storyline. It's always based on some person that has actually lived there. Uh, and we always hope that this person, uh, it's a famous person, but we also hope that this person has done some things that are a bit on the edge of what's, uh, uh, what's, uh, how shall I say it? It's, it's, we always hope they do some stuff that most people don't do or uh, that uh, would come into the papers if they would li uh, live uh, in these years. Um, so pretty much every character is fun to do, uh, but I especially uh, enjoyed making Barcelona uh, because it's a very nice city for this game to play. And um, the character itself is, uh, was really fun. So personally, if I create an escape tour, I have a lot of fun creating the storyline in, in Loquis and connecting all the, the storyline to the game itself. Uh, so there are multiple, actually. That's uh, good to hear. But uh, thank you so much uh, for joining us here today. And, um, and I hope you will have a really interesting and uh, cool game season for the spring and summer. So, and, thank you. Uh, I look forward to you joining in future presentations showing other games. Sure. Yeah, we have a lot. Mm -hmm. I, I am actually building two right now, so um, they are really interesting and a totally different, uh, totally different game. Okay. Uh, bye bye, and uh, next time, see you. You. Bye bye.